A phone company charges for service according to the formula C of n is equal to 24 plus 0.1n, where n is the number of minutes talked and C of n is the monthly charge in dollars. Find and interpret the rate of change and initial value. Okay, so let's first start with the general uh, equation of a linear line. Y is equal to mx plus b, okay? Now, generally speaking, we know that M represents the slope, right, slope, and B represents the Y-intercept. Okay, so in terms of linear equations and economics, right, these variables take on, uh, I don't want to say different meanings, but they, they take on, there's additional context to them, okay? So the slope we can think of is basically the rate of change okay it's the rate of change of the function so instead of thinking about slope you can add a little richer detail it's also known as the rate of change so slope is equal to the rate of change right a rate of change you know like it's change in y over change in x right it's the rate at which it's changing the greater the y relative to the x the greater the value is the greater the rate of change is okay so we know slope is basically going to be rate of change. Now, the other thing we need to keep in mind is it can also represent the cost per item. Okay? In economics, it also represents cost per item. So I have that down here. Now, in terms of this problem, right, uh, that's fine too. But in terms of they want it to find and interpret the rate of change and the initial value, right? So... Basically, that is what's going to uh, represent, or I should say that is what's going to represent the, um, uh, the cost of an item, right? Where n is the number of minutes talked, and let me write this out. So if, if C of n, I'm just going to call it, I'm just going to call it a C, okay? The cost for the, t uh, for the number of minutes uh, talked, right? The monthly, the monthly charge is going to be equal to 24 plus 0.1n. First of all, I basically realize I have it kind of backwards, right? I have the variable second, and so I'm just going to change that, okay? So I'm just going to switch them. That's totally fine. That's a legal math move, right? All right, so I just changed them up. So now I realize, I know that this is the slope and this is the y-intercept, okay? So what I realize now, since I lined it up perfectly, I realize that my m value here is 0.1, okay? That is known as the rate of change. And that's also going to represent the cost per item. Now, what's the item in the problem? What are they What are they selling or what are they charging you for? Well, they're charging you for the number of minutes, right? So this represents now the cost per minute, okay? Cost, cost per minute. Cost per minute. In economics parlance, this would be the variable cost. That's the cost that varies, right? If you talk one minute, you get charged 10 cents. If you talk two minutes... You get charged 20 cents, right, because it's 2 times 0.1, et cetera, et cetera. It's variable changes, all right? Now, the other one, the this is obviously now our y-intercept value or the b-value. And this, as I have written down here, represents, the y-intercept represents when the price, uh, the price when zero units are sold. So meaning when you don't talk any minutes, okay, when you don't make any calls, that you're going to be charged during that month you're going to be charged $24. Notice if you plug zero in for N, what happens? This whole thing just cancels. And then you're left with C is equal to 24. You see how that works? So basically now, this is, this represents not only the Y-intercept, but this basically represents the quote-unquote initial value. Value. And if we're thinking about the context of a phone plan, this would be like your monthly cost, right? You know you got to pay a certain fee. Now, you might say, well, I get free minutes, so what? Well, yeah, no, I know. I mean, back, right? There are many, many types of plans. So some plans charge you a low monthly rate, and then they're going to, <laughs> you're paying them one way or the other, right? They're either going to pay, <laughs> they're either going to charge you for a low monthly rate and then bang you for each minute you talk, or they're going to charge you a high monthly rate and say the minutes are free. But are the minutes really free? Is anything really free, right? Except for this video and the videos we make and all the... Are they, is it really free? <laughs> Teasing. Um, okay. So 
here we have the initial value is 24, all right? And uh, now we realize that this is also the cost when zero items are sold. Or in other words, this could be the monthly charge. Well, let me say the monthly, if I could spell monthly, monthly fixed charge. This is what you're paying every month regardless of if you make a call or not, okay? And that's also called a fixed expense or a fixed charge or a fixed fee or whatever in economics parlance, all right? Um, mm -hmm. yeah, I guess I found and interpreted them and did whatever, I guess, right? So hopefully this helps, guys. All right, I do appreciate it very much that you took the time out to watch the video. And uh, if you could, if you could tell your friends, that'd be awesome, right? We'd love to help them too. And we look forward to helping with more problems. Take care.